family, I don't want us to miss something that's so obvious and so important. There's, there's a ton of applications I can make for us as individuals here, and I'll make those in just a second. But, but I do not want us to miss something that is so important. Jesus draws a straight line between the vineyard and the heart of the tax collector and the prostitute and the heart of the religious leaders. We are the vineyard. The people of God are the vineyard. The way that we live our lives is, is to be the fruit of the vineyard. To, we talk about living a life that, that demands a gospel explanation, right? The way that we live our lives is, is called, it's, it's intended to be this life that is a, a pointer to the goodness and grace of Jesus. It's called to be a life that is a pointer that, to this reality that Jesus came for these people, the, the tax collectors and the prostitutes, the scum of the earth. But we cannot live that life if we have talk, but no action. And not action like doing things, action like hearts of repentance. We will never be a community of people that exists for the glory of Jesus and the blessing of the nations if our hearts are hard. Because here's the problem. We won't actually need Jesus. And if you don't need Jesus, you know what happens? If you don't repent to Jesus, if you're not coming to Jesus, it produces in you a hard-heartedness, a pride, a religious pride. It says, man, I sure am glad I'm not like those people. You can't reach a community of people that you're, you don't love, and you can't love them if you don't realize how loved you've been. You don't realize how loved you've been by Jesus if you think you're awesome. Because if you're awesome, you don't actually need Jesus.